All right, we've got, uh, welcome to the Whiskey Vault, by the way. Uh, yes, welcome to the Whiskey Vault. <laughs> I am Rex. I am Daniel. Uh, he's a level three whiskey sommelier. He's a master mooch, and we're finally caving the pressure. Yes, we are. Selling out, specifically, selling out to a one Carson, Carson Price. Price. Carson Price, this is your damn day. <laughs> now I'm all punchy. <laughs> so Carson, this guy is, he has the persistence of a pit bull. He does. <laughs> How many videos? When did he start watching? It was like 100 episodes ago no, or something. No, for, for 500 straight episodes. <laughs> without fail, he's been in the comments. Yep. There's a simple, just a simple comment. Angels in vitro effecta. Yeah. Then he drops the mic and walks away. And for, the, for all the new people, the way this usually works is you donate a whiskey, it gets bumped up to the top of the list. And we get a bunch of donations, but it makes it more, it makes it faster for us to get to it. The, re, the, the request in the comments, we'll eventually get to it when we can. This guy has been so doggedly persistent. I know, we just had to give it to him. We, yeah, we just gave up. Like, well, oh, I just gave up. No. Just gave up. But at the same time, it's Angel's Envy. Yes. So it's not a, it's not a, it's Tremendous sacrifice. Yeah, it's not a dog fight or anything. All right. So this is a rye I could drink all day. Yeah. Even not being a rye fan, because my God, the Caribbean rum they finished this 18 months in Caribbean rum. Yeah. Uh, this is the Henderson family. Remember, we got Lincoln Henderson and his son Wes founded this. Now Wes's sons are involved, and all they're doing is taking really classic bourbon and rye, and they are. Finishing it and other things. So, oh man, this is this is super unique. Coffee. This is super unique. This is the um, black licor licorice note you usually get is the dominant note in rye. Nah, it's not there. It's buried. Not there. It's buried and which is actually exactly why I love it. <laughs> because good black licorice. Yeah. So, um, th this brings me up to like almost half a dozen ryes that I'm excited about. My concern is. There's so much other stuff going on here. I don't know if this is like a straight up rye. I mean, this feels no, like- No, no, it's not. So if you wanted to introduce someone to a classic rye, Angel's Envy is, rye is not a classic rye. It's a unicorn. Okay. And it's not hard to fall in love with unicorns. They're amazing magical creatures. I'm excited that I found another rye that mm -hmm. I like, but this is actually making me a bit more excited for rum. Because I can oh, yeah. absolutely tell all the stuff that's not I've rye. ever poured you Ron Zacapa? No. Mm, I'm gonna. It's awesome. We'll go to the rum vault. <laughs> <laughs> we have a rum vault. So, uh, I get all the maple, I get all the sugar, I get all the cinnamon, but the rum notes cinnamon. bring all of the interesting Ooh. other stuff. Cinnamon and maple. And this is a dark rum cask, I would guess. This yeah. is not your, you know, Bacardi white. Man. Right, this is... There's some type of, like, rounded off... Um, ripe fruit in that rum in there. Mm, I really love that rye. No, it's really nice. Okay, now the bourbon I feel is in a similar category. So they specialize in doing whiskeys in unique casks? Yes, yeah, so they'll, they'll age them in the normal new oak for like all legal requirements for rye and bourbon. Yeah. And then they will finish them in other casks. So the rum cask finish they said is 18 months for the rye. For the bourbon they say it's around 8 to 12 barrels at a time for around six months. Mm. And they blend them together afterwards. That is simultaneously complex and it's not bitey. Just when I'm uh -huh. about I'm about to get that spike that I would typically get from any um, average bourbon, it just rounds up. That's really exactly quickly. what it is. Yeah. So for me, bourbon always starts sweet and then ends with a barrel punch. Yeah. And that's why I'm not I'm having a hard time getting in love with it. But this one starts sweet and friendly and then has complexity, but it's all around and never arise in that mm, new oak yeah, punch. Really, really nice. So, um, it's not, man. So it's definitely bourbon, right? It's definitely- I mean, legally, yes. It's definitely bourbon. But you can't find another bourbon on our entire shelf that will give you that experience. Oh, that's not true. Bell Mead. So bourbon recently started finishing what's in What's the casks. other one in the trifecta? Because I remember Angel's Envy being mo seemingly more um, bourbon, yes, hints of classicness, but more nuanced and complex. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. For a special treat. Yeah. 
I'm being treated. Oh, wooden box and everything. The Angel's Envy cask strength. Oh, okay. All right. Have I had Now, this, this is a port? No. I have not had this. This is 64% alcohol. Is this the most typical Angel's Envy, this bourbon here? Yeah. Is that like the go-to? Yep, that's the standard. Okay. Why did I remember that being more classic? This is the 2015 bottling. Right. This is batch number C4, bottle number 6949, 63.95% alcohol. Mmm. <laughs> 100... That's up there with George Stagg. Yeah. I don't remember this one at all. It's open, so obviously I tried it when I bought it, <laughs> but I have no memory of that. It's so potent, you tried that much and it just annihilated all memory. I passed out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Instantly. First sip. Wow, that you is, know the nose is not as vibrant. Not as, well, not, why is that? Not what you would expect from cask strength. And I'm not even getting the alcohol bite in the nose that I would expect. Mmm, yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Huh? Mm hmm? Mm. Is that where it shows up? Ooh. You know, your hair makes you look like a mad scientist right now. That's fine. Or just mad. This is really <laughs> uh, potent and rich, almost syrupy. Almost syrupy oh, with the richness. Ah, that's dense. Yeah. I mean, that is, dense is absolutely the best way to describe that. Yep. It's, the first Angel's Envy sort of spread out, mm -hmm. was a little nuanced and friendly. Concentrated. Yeah, this one is a like vanilla concentrate. Right. Um, Woo! I'm gonna yeah, get some water. Just a dash of water. And then um, I'll drop a cube of ice in there. Just a dash first and we'll see what happens. Oh, there it is. Now it gets a little bitey and complex and bourbony. Yeah. It needed just a dash of water to come alive and start to pick a fight. It does. It, it, it comes out swinging. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm not swinging. Woo! Of these, you know what? The surprise for me is that damn rye. That angel, that angels in me, um, Caribbean rum cask rye. Yeah, that one was a shocker. Uh, strangely enough, I hesitate to say this on camera. But but nobody was. That's my preferred whiskey of the three. There's, that's, that's, that's. I think I preferred the rye. That's okay. I'm just saying. Red letter day here in the world. That vault. is a big moment for me. <laughs> Daniel's all grown up. He can drink rye now. Peter Messing. <laughs> Chicory is that blue flower weed yes. you see on the side of the road in Mich uh, Michigan. Thank you. You can roast it like coffee. They use it in this they used it in the Civil War as a replacement for coffee. It yeah. is great tasting. Yes, and actually if you buy the chicory coffee from Cafe de Mon in New Orleans now, it's a mix of <laughs> chicory and coffee beans. Now I'm not surprised that this is so empty. This is so good. Because it's so damn good. I know. All right. Uh, Paul Darnell. So glad to have you two. You're the Gandalf of my whiskey quest. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to experience a scotch. I'm guessing he's not talking to me with that comment. <laughs> I'm trying to experience a scotch with salt, brine, and seaweed kelp taste. Oh, notes. so many things. Anything that you'd recommend. Yes. Uh, if you want to go classic, start with Oban. And then try... Um, Talisker, and then try Buna Haben. And then, Ardbeg. if you're really serious, get the Ardbeg Dark Cove. Yeah, that one. It will change your life forever. But yeah, man, so many good options. You're gonna like all those. <laughs> Griff Sickendick. As a Colorado native- Wait, what? That really is his name. Don't make fun of the name. <laughs> it could be a real name. <laughs> He's been made fun of his whole life. Yeah. You're being rude to the viewers. Yeah, we've already lost some people because Rex was so rude. <laughs> and they had feelings. Yeah. And all these feelings. They're very offended. Man, that kept me up at night. Yeah, I'll bet. I didn't laugh at that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I just went... <laughs> uh, as a Colorado native, I have to say that Casa Bonita is absolutely the worst excuse for Mexican kids. What the hell, yes! man? I'm looking out for you here. Come on. Nailed it! Oh. Yes, that's because you're a man of distinction. Now, he may not even watch this video because that was a video from like three months ago oh, that he that, commented on. That said, everyone should go there and experience it one, once. No. Nope. But Black Bart's Cave does not hold up to your childhood memories. I'm telling you, it does not hold up. 
Why would when, you, how old were you? Why would you go no, as no, an no. adult? No, no. You go how as a child and have a magical time. How old were you the last time you went? I was a fetus. <laughs> Just another pair well, of That trooper. explains why you love it. <laughs> so, Daniel, I received a bottle of the Exceptional Malt. It is a blended scotch. Oh, 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 yes. Uh, for helping out a friend, and I was wondering on your thoughts about it, and maybe a review. I would send you guys a bottle, but I don't get paid till next week, so yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that was all it took. Yeah. So, you don't have to Couldn't send wait stuff. a week. You yeah. guys don't have to send us stuff. If it's not convenient or affordable, no worries. Yeah. So... Oh, finally! Woo! Yeah. What do you mean, finally? Like a sharpshooter. That off camera, yeah. it's like a 15 sh like shot <laughs> streak right now. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so, uh, one of our viewers actually knows the owner of the Exceptional Whiskey Company. And he put me in contact with him. We emailed back and forth a couple of times to see how I could get some of the bottles of the exceptional whiskey. And the answer is, haven't yet figured out how to pull it off legally. But I am working on it. <laughs> That's where I come in. Because it sounds really tasty. Right. And I really want to try it. I just need to figure out how to get it here. As soon as I do, we will do a review on it. Yeah. I decided on the rum. The, oh, no, no, no. That was me. I, no, no, I, no, no, no. I was leading the effort on the Caribbean cask rye yeah yeah and you're following me no no yes i'm always leading Re rewind watch look at every photo i'm in front and it's not because i'm short uh, it's so because the, i'm leading but <laughs> saying that i don't want to take away from the angels envy oh bourbon. the bourbons are great it's and the amazing. cast strength it can hold its own it this has less of the magic for me it, it's actually this is one of these whiskeys that gets so intense and potent it's hard for me to pick out individual flavors because it's just yeah. A wall of intensity. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree with that. But I'm going to say honey and apple concentrate with some other stuff. Yep. Wood. I agree. All right. There you go, Carson. He's still going to request it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Again! <laughs> Again. <laughs> for the second time. Yes, yes. Well, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.